Hi there, I'm Dylan Fulmer, and if you're watching this video, it probably means you have nothing better to do. Welcome. Are you tired of sounding like yourself? Man, I sound so normal! Do you wish you could sound like other people? Boy, I sure hey, do! Hey, can you shut up? Sorry. Thank you. As I was saying, if you answered yes to either of these questions, you've come to the right place. In order to sound like Gollum or Smeagol, you have to start by making an ah sound. Ah. Then bring your tongue back into your throat. Ah. We're not done yet. Next, you have to make the clearing your throat sound while saying ah. <coughs> and having your tongue in the back of your throat. Ah. <laughs> there you go. Now you can talk like Gollum. The Reckon Pooh the Sinku, so juicy sweet. Our only wish is to catch a fish, so juicy sweet. Patience, patience, my love. Gollum, filthy little hobbits, they stole it from us. What did they steal from you? My precious. Stitch is a lot like Gollum, but it's a little easier. All you do is the same stuff for Gollum, but you cut out the clearing your throat step. Start with the ah. Uh, now bring your tongue back. Uh, and there you have it. Your Gollum minus the bronchitis. Aloha. My name Stitch. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. Now, Batman is slightly similar to Gollum, but instead of the bronchitis, it's a lot of gravel stuck in your throat. To start off, you need to furrow your brow. Next, you need to get that gravel out of your throat. <coughs> the rest is pretty natural at that point. It's not who I am underneath, but what I do, that defines me. I'm not wearing hockey pads. You're the one pointing the gun, Harvey. So point it at the people most responsible. Because you were the best of us. He wanted to prove that someone as good as you could fall. Now, if you're still having trouble, I would recommend practicing by saying the word Rachel repeatedly. Rachel! 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 Hey! Can you shut up? Sorry. Thank you. As I was- Last but not least, we have Matthew McConaughey. And while he's not a fictional character, he sure is fantastic. In order to sound like him, there are only three things you have to do. First, you have to be tired. You have to sound like you just woke up from an awful nap or a horrible night with no rest. Ugh. That wasn't a good night's rest. Next, you have to be a hick. <laughs> you need to have a little bit of a country accent. Just a little bit though. Ugh. Well, that wasn't a good night's rest. And finally, you need to go to the bathroom. I mean, you need to sound like you have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but in this case, it's a lot more mild. <laughs> Once you have those three things down, you're ready to sound like Matthew McConaughey. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. If you teach a man to fish, he'll probably get mercury poisoning. Hey, I got a joke for you. Okay, let's hear it. What do you call a camel with three humps? I'm not sure. What? Pregnant. <laughs> Can I take this tie off now? It's way too freaking tight. 